Our country is under attack by the fake news media, crime, and an invasion at our southern border like nobody has ever seen before. We must take back the White House in 2024 and make America great again. It's going to happen. We have no choice. Thank you. With what is happening to our economy and with the proposals being made on the largest and dumbest tax increase in the history of the USA, times five, I figure times five, maybe more than that, Joe Biden will go down as the Herbert Hoover of the modern age. You know who Herbert Hoover is, right? We may have a Great Depression far bigger and more powerful than even that of 1929, as proof the banks are already starting to collapse. We cannot allow a depression to happen. There is no reason for this. We cannot allow it to happen. Thank you. Ron DeSanctimonious voted three times to cut and destroy Social Security and increase the age requirement to at least 70 years old. Likewise, he voted to radically cut Medicare. And remember, he is a disciple of Rhino Paul Ryan. What can you expect? And to go a little bit further, he reminds me very much of a guy named Mitt Romney. What else has to be said? That's where he comes from, and that's where he'll go. Vote Trump. We're going to make America great again. The Republicans in Congress ought to demand the $6 trillion that Mitch McConnell gave to the Democrats and demand that it get back. Put it back. Put it back in our Treasury. It's all Green New Deal and things that nobody wants. It causes massive inflation. But demand it back before they even think about the debt ceiling vote. A great way to cut spending, much of it wasted on so many things that we don't want. Polls show me doing substantially better against hopeless Joe Biden than Ron DeSanctimonious would do. In fact, he doesn't even come close to winning.